Now, I, I thought of you last night when I was listening to the president. And I said, look, they want to do something to help people build foundries in this country. And then I said to myself, well, if I were Sanjay, I'd say, hey, that's not fair. I'm, we've been building foundries. We, we're, we, we've done everything you're supposed to do. I mean, it, there is some kind of an inequity here, don't you think? So first of all, let me tell you that we are really very appreciative of the U.S. government, the Congress, and the administration in terms of focus, focusing on the need for driving innovation, competitiveness, and global leadership for the U.S. semiconductor industry. This is clearly important because the semiconductors form the backbone of everything today in the economies. Micron, of course, has been, as you noted, we have been a manufacturers with a fab in Manassas, Virginia, our headquarters out of Boise, Idaho, and the world's best memory R&D center driven out of Boise, Idaho, and having a global footprint of manufacturing in Taiwan, in Singapore, in Japan, Malaysia, China. So we are very well diversified, which today we consider as a competitive advantage. But we really appreciate the administration's efforts, and we, of course, continue to monitor and look at these trends, because as a, the only company in the U.S. that makes semiconductor memory and storage, which, by the way, semiconductor memory and storage makes up nearly 30 percent of the worldwide semiconductor production. So we are really a leader in memory and storage, the only U.S. company. We are definitely excited about the prospects of driving greater leadership in research, technology, and products in the, uh, through U.S., as well as on a worldwide basis for driving innovation agenda of our customers worldwide. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.